Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is my homecoming video, so I hope you guys enjoy and please keep on watching. So I already went ahead and applied my eyebrows off camera because I have a whole tutorial on that and another video that I will link down below in the description box. So as you can see, I'm just applying my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer all over my eyelids so I can use this as a primer right before my eyeshadows. Now I'm just taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder all over my lid with a brush that has no name on it. So I don't know what brush it is, but if I can find it, it's probably off Amazon. Now I'm going to go in with the MAC 219 brush and my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and taking raw sienna and burnt orange into my crease. I do take a little bit of product at a time and I start to build it up until I get the color that I desire. Basically just going back and forth with the brush onto your crease. I'm making sure it's really blended because that's the whole point of my looks is that I really do love blending the eyeshadow out so it looks nice, it has a seamless finish, and it just looks amazing. So now I'm just taking a moment and doing my other eye. I was going to do it off camera but I just wanted y'all to see how I did it in, like, in a faster motion. So now I'm taking the brush that actually came with the palette and I'm going to be taking Love Litter into the crease and on the outer portion of my eye and blending that into the two colors that we just had to put. Now I'm just taking the other side of that brush and taking more of Love Letter and Red Ochre onto the outer portion of my eyelid into the crease slowly with soft strokes, but it was in fast motion so it looks like I was going fast. So then I gave up after a while and just ended up using the fluffier side of the brush and grabbing Love Letter and applying that to my outer crease, making sure it was still blended. So sometimes I'd go back in with the MAC 219 brush and blend it out. Now this was just a close up so you can see what I'm really doing to my lid and how I'm blending out those colors. Now I'm taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue on a small Real Techniques brush and applying that all over my lid. I didn't do this like a cut crease glitter look. I just wanted it all over the place because I wanted it to look messy. I didn't want it to look so clean. So I guess that's what it was about this look that I love. So this was just an up like up close look to my eyes so y'all can see how I applied the glitter. Like I said it was a messy look and so I just applied it a little bit at a time because if you apply too much you'll create more fallout. So the slower you take it the less fallout you'll get. Now 
Now I'm just doing my other eye. And I did notice that I had a lot of glitter in my lashes. So I did clean them up once I stopped recording. And just, it turned out so good. Like, you, it doesn't look good without my lashes. But right when I put on the lashes, it's like, boom, who are you? Now I'm just taking the NARS Makeup Primer with SPF. I know it's bad to have SPF in any of your products for makeup because it leaves a white cast. But this one for me, like, as you can tell, it makes me look white. But for some reason in my photos that I take, it never makes me have like a white cast. So that might just be for me. It's not all people, but I really do love this primer. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Guys, I love this foundation. It's like on another level of making my skin looking so perfect. I am aware that it is darker than my natural skin color, but it does blend in at the very end once I do my contour, my highlight, my under eyes. It just blends in good. So you do want to take it down your neck and the little areas on your nose, into that hairline like girl we can slay them edges after that's what I did in this video and yeah just make sure you blend it out really well take your time um I did fast forward it in this clip but I did take like five to ten minutes just blending out my foundation now I'm just actually doing a new thing as you can tell in the beginning of the video i did not do have concealer on the top of my brows because i am no longer doing that and so i'm just going in with straight foundation on the top of my brows to clean them up and the brush is van santi i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know i will link it down below if i can find the brush but it's eyeshadow 2 and it's more like of a concealer brush and so i use that to clean up my brows I only use concealer when I do really need to clean up my brows, but from now on, I don't do that. Now I'm just going back in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer again. It's the lightest shade. So this one just says Neutralizer and 20 in 506. But I'm pretty sure that's not even what it's called. But that's what I got. And then I blended that out with a Original Beauty Blender, the black one. And I made sure that was damp. Now I'm just applying the concealer on where I do want it to stand out the most on my face. So like my upper lip, my chin, my bri the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. So now I'm taking my favorite powder of all time, that's the Laura Mercier powder, and putting that on the same places where we had applied the concealer with the same beauty blender that's damp because I find that it just shows up more and it leaves a more better finish or like just a more matte finish to me. Now I'm just applying my face powder, which is just the Laura Mercier all over my face, but just with the Real Techniques brush by Sam and Nick, and this is the blush brush. I don't wear blush, sadly. I want to, but I just don't find that it looks good on me. 
And so I just use it as a face powder brush and I just apply it to all the areas that I didn't bake. Now I'm just taking that same MAC 219 brush with raw sienna and burnt orange on my lower lash line with some mascara by Benefit and it's called the Roller Lash. It's just the black one too. And yeah, I really wanted it to focus on the top lid, not the bottom, so I just did it real natural. Now I'm just taking the MAC 104 brush and wiping off, wiping away, excuse me, all the excess powder that was under my eyes, on my forehead, my chin, my upper lip, on my nose. So I didn't get to um, record how I contoured, but I promise if you do want a video, I will make one. Just comment down below in the comment section. But I just basically bronzed and contoured with the Morphe M527 with the Give Me Sun Powder and my Kat Von D contour, well, the Shade and Light contour palette. So this is like my ultimate favorite part, my highlighting. Um, the whole point of this look was just to glow without having like that glowy skin, just basically the highlight and the eyes and boom, you're blinding people. But I just went in with the Morphe M510, creds to many in way for this. And I took the Laura Geller Goaded Honey and the MAC Global Glow, and this is like the perfect duo for the highlight. So since I wanted my look to be more focused on the eyelids, I just took a more natural lip, which is like more of a pinky nude, more on the dark side of a nude, but I still love it. And this is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow, and I just had bought this, and so if you know me, I'm like obsessed with it. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!